Hey guys, it's Lindsay with Emeralds and Fairy Lights, and I'm here today to do a poster view of Night Goddess from Die Moon Shop. This is in Candy Drills, and this is what it looks like. So, <laughs> I have lots to say on this. So, let me actually preface, preface this review by saying um, this is part of an experiment or series that I was going to do with Dye Moon Shop, where I ordered four of their smallest size canvases from four different artists in different rounds, candy and square, to try out to see the rendering of a the smallest size painting. If it's okay or worth it to pay that much money for the smaller version of the painting, you can save some money, or if it's better that you just get the larger version if you really like the image. I mean, the, the pluses and minuses are with smaller sizes, you can get more, um, but then you do sacrifice the quality of the specific image. So this particular painting was $48. It is a 30 by 45 in this round crystal drills. You can see. And so this is what I got. Um, after finishing the painting. Now I had mentioned in one of my um, whipping chats that I was having a lot of fun with this one. The drills were going down so pretty. I do like the gold accents. If you can see in here like that, it's just really pretty, the gold on here, and it could be so striking with the crystals. Unfortunately, the crystals did not translate this image. So, I, I honestly don't know if this particular painting would actually work in round or square drills, if that makes sense. So, I actually, like, I was just really disappointed when this got done. Like, you can't really tell what's going on. Like, can you tell that that's hair? You can't really tell that's hair. You can't really tell what's going on here. You can kind of see that she's got her hands, but then again, only like this hand is is really defined and this other one is kind of, you know, not so defined. Her face, I think is actually fine, um, given the size of this image, but the rest of the painting just does not look very good at all. And so actually, um, Die Moon Shop contacted me when they saw my image on Instagram and just said, we're so sorry, like that is not how the image is supposed to be rendered. That's not how it's supposed to turn out. Um, so I had emailed them back and just said, do you have like what it should look like in Candy Drills? They ended up um, offering me basically a full refund for this image um, as well as um, a replacement canvas with free shipping um, to replace this in square or round drills. So I actually um, am going to get a new version of this kit in the round drills and do that for you to show you guys what it looks like in the 30 by 45. Um, Dime Moon Shop did say that for whatever reason, this did not translate in the crystal or candy drills, and so they have actually discontinued this kit. So, I do feel a little strange reviewing this kit, given that you actually cannot get this kit. It was deemed to not be <laughs> um not good enough like like rendering um and so they're just not even selling this anymore so i don't feel like this is a very good illustration of what you're going to get from a 30 by 45 image from Dye Moon Shop just because it's not up to their standards after they saw it drilled now for whatever reason i'm not sure why they didn't check this out before um honestly it was this has been a long progr progress. Um, I ordered this, it took about nine weeks for, a little longer than nine weeks for these canvases to come. 
um, by the time I have this drilled and finished, and then by the time that I would get a replacement canvas, we're looking at <laughs> um, a good four to five month process. And so um, it's, it's a long process, but um, what I do have to say is that for me, Dye Moon Shop is more expensive, but you are getting images that you can't get elsewhere. You are getting licensed artwork that is that is beautiful from artists that you can't get anywhere else. I do think in other of their paintings that the rendering is really nice. Um, and so that is why I think the Dye Moon Shop's price can somewhat be justified in the fact that if you want to fairly compensate um, one of these artists that they have um, the sole licensing with, then you're going to have to pay a bit of a premium price to do these artists' images. Um, I'm sorry, this review is all over the place because honestly, I don't know how to review a piece that was acknowledged as a failure. <laughs> Do you know what I mean by by both Dye Moon Shop and myself? And it's just, it's been discontinued because it is just not rendered well. And the fact that they discontinued the candy for this image and not just the 30 by 45, but all the larger versions tells me that there is something with the rendering that didn't translate well to crystals. And I, so I wonder why that wasn't tested, you know? Um, I mean, hey, Diamond Shop, if you watch this, I will test your kits for you. If you wanna send them to me, I will do them and test them for you <laughs> in smaller sizes or in candies or in squares, whatever you want, because your images are gorgeous. Um, I just, I just think that these things probably need to be tested before they're sent out. On the other hand, I think Dye Moon Shop's customer service was great. They were, um, they reached out to me. They immediately offered me a full refund of the price that I paid for this um, to send a replacement canvas. So um, while I'm not very pleased with how this one turned out, I do think it's, it's, more the crystals and I this is is part one because I will definitely show you guys and update you the image when I have it in rounds it just might be a couple months from now because um it was just barely ordered <laughs> so I've got another six to eight weeks estimated time before I could get that canvas so this I hope this video wasn't a complete mess um but I will see you guys in another video.